Oh, see, I put too much pressure on myself. That right? was your proper show. You're no. like, let me, and then you moan. And then I just groan. I just sighed. <laughs> Welcome Are you going to leave the moan in? I'm not, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see how I'm feeling when I cut this. Welcome back to Nobody's Listening. Live, kind of, from Los Angeles, home of the world champion, Los Angeles Lakers. Which we have something to do with their success. Absolutely, we do. We it's can, basically riding. I'm basically... Uh, I'm basically Caruso, like in my role. Yeah, one, one in the same. I'm Quinn Cook. Yeah, that's more accurate. You know. Yeah, that's what's crazy. I feel like me and Caruso both really enjoy meatloaf. You know what I mean? You think so? That's kind of why a meatloaf I went to guy? him. I feel like he likes meatloaf. I bet he only likes his mama's meatloaf. I only like my mama's meatloaf. You know, that's a thing. Meatloaf is fucking disgusting. And the only reason Whoa. the only Whoa. you only would you ever go to a restaurant and order the meatloaf? Fuck. Yeah, dude. It's so rare that if you see a place that has meatloaf, I'm like, I got to try this. Meatloaf. Really? Fuck yeah. This is unrelated, though. We're talking about the now, dude. We're talking okay. about current events. Um, the city is exploding. Which it you is claim, not. You, it's it is not. not. No, it's see, not. You. I'm being you, facet- you, you I'm don't a, go outside. I'm a comedian. OK, I'm l- trying. I'm not the news, bro. I'm allowed There's to say... There's all this, like, L.A., the streets of L.A. People are going crazy. It's just like some drunk guy that stole a Laker t-shirt Listen, is setting a new building on fire. It ain't, not, it ain't that bad, for sure. Like, first of all, it fucking... I was... I just enjoy it, dude. Food... Foo's gone wild if you don't follow the Instagram page. The fucking single greatest Instagram page right now. Foo's gone wild and Elements of Need are my top two. Elements of Need, <laughs> Are yeah. my top two Instagram pages right now. Dude, people were just straight up acting a fool last night. Like, and that's awesome. I like it. And then people... Th- so the whole controversy now is like, oh, okay, no church, can't go into a bar, can't get a haircut, but we can just have endless protests of just thousands upon thousands of people. Wait, were they protests or like Nobody or knows any dude, nobody knows anymore in LA. Like it's just like downtown is like just Antifa war with police. And then well, that's the thing. Po- you can't are... police civil disobedience. No, you can't. That's no why one I... said you're allowed to do this. Dude, they just did it. The LA like Lakers uh celebrations last night are funny because it's like mostly just like Mexicans celebrating the Lakers, which is a positive thing. That's supporting and then there's a faction people like the lakers and then some white people show up and start doing some antifa type shit and complicating things and then there's also people under the bus which is okay yes and then also currently we have a huge armenian faction going on with the armenian protests no it's not people try to act like armenians ain't white dude Dude, armenians are just white people yeah they're just a brand of white i don't know if that's checks out dude it, I, <laughs> I well, what I what are you saying what are you saying about armenians i'm saying it's the middle east almost it's eastern europe slash middle east all right kind of in that quadrant them, i guess why hey, listen dude i'm just saying right now in l dude right now in la it's like you're gonna walk into one of the three on any given day you're gonna walk into an armenian protest a black lives matter protest or a we're burning down this pot belly sandwiches for kobe Lakers, You're not world champs, dude. They don't exist. <laughs> I'm out on the streets. Hey, it's dude, bro. I you ain't. Where though. are these people? These protest. There was a protest yesterday, marching up La Cienega and Third, right here They're, for Armenia. Yeah, it was huge. What's How, up with our, what's happening with them, dude? This is crazy. I don't even know why I let you fact check my opinions on what's going on. Cause you ain't even clicked in, bro. So you can't talk What's shit. Go- all right. Fair First enough. of all, there is a huge, there's a large amount of protests happening in LA because LA has the highest Armenian population outside of Armenia. If you don't know, Armenia's got some beef with Azerbaijan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, that's it. right. You're right. Over this yeah, territory in the middle because these these weren't countries until like the 1980s after the Soviet Union kind of disbanded and that, that whole thing started. So there's some fighting over this land in the middle that Armenians basically live in, but it's technically operated by Azerbaijan. They declared war. Kind, right? Yeah, of course. There's okay. a lot of bloodshed. It's very unfortunate. But, you know, people out here in L.A., they're taking to the streets and the Armenian protests have been good. Like people have not, there haven't been like any instances of violence. It's just like meaningful people taking the street. What protests. are their, the thing is, what are their demands? They're not, cause it, it's they're like, not demands, dude. The reason it's positive is because it's, it's solidarity with what's going on over there. Just the same way that there were black lives matter protests, like George Floyd demonstrations around the world. And like the UK when it was, 
you'd be like, why the fuck do they care? Yeah, but they're but showing solidarity, dude. That's part I, of the game. Yes, I get it. I get it. Kim and K led the first one. Really? Yes, she was. She was out on the streets on the very first. It was like last Thursday. I was watching on Smoke and Scan. Shout out Smoke and Scan. He he would never see this because no one watches it. But Kim K marched her fat ass out on the street. Kim K got her big fucking fat ass down there and just was shake. Damn, dude, girl, good for her. She's got another, her husband's just you know jumping back and forth between like suicide and stardom every week. So mm-hmm. she's like, I got to do something she's meaningful get back out here. Got to get out of the mansion. She's gonna run for governor. That's five ten she's years. Been, she's gonna be running. I don't want to talk about Kim K. Yeah, we my can. point is. What it is, here's the power rankings of protests in L.A. right now. Lakers, number one. That's top tier of the protests. Armenians. What are they? Pro- they're just celebrating. They're not protests. It's just unrest. It's just celebration. It's it, just one. It's, it's guys doing it's donuts. three guys <laughs> in Lakers shirts that that are, they just, Dude. not even Lakers fans, but they're wearing Lakers shirts and they're like, this is an opportunity to steal shit. Yeah. No, dude. It's not like that. It's dude. three dudes. Most Laker fans are just like, yeah, we won. Very cool. Let's celebrate in the streets. And then when there's like a mild amount of celebration, which turns into a little chaos, brick through a window because yeah. these guys are waiting for the well, time. Well, first of all, people just need to blow off steam right now. That's the real big thing. So any excuse for people to get out in the streets and start fucking shit up they're gonna yeah. take it but it is kind of funny that you think it's three dudes because it was a lot like 70 people were arrested last night there were like 30 businesses that were like damaged which again i don't give a fuck like, Wait, were these laker fans or Azerbaijanis? it's like i said dude it's like a bowl of chili down there it's like you different quadrants on every block downtown is so fucking crazy right now anyway let's go downtown we might as well we were talking about doing something around yeah we'll go downtown well, it, Here's the thing. All I'm saying is this. I am very pro the Lakers celebrations. And you're right that like every news article today was just like chaos in L.A. It's just like bloodshed. It's like, yeah, it was just people acting it's a fool, not. dude. It's Foo's Gone Wild. Follow the Instagram page and you'll know exactly. Dude, there was a guy dressed as Mario driving a golf cart around with a Lakers flag. Like that's all that rules. This is that this is brick through a window that I support. Like we're we're gonna tear, <laughs> we're gonna do donuts outside of this Duncan. Yeah, it's all in fun. Oh, we got company. I don't know what's going on. Someone's probably breaking in my car right Hold now. On. Okay, we got. Don't fucking come back here again. I said all right, but okay, get on. All right, welcome back. We had a well, <laughs> there was apparently a man squatting. There was him. literally a drifter that had to be dealt with two doors down, which is you didn't hear it, but there was there was one man screaming. Hey, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, get the f-. and then the one well, the indignant. What? OK, so there's a man. I'd imagine this. There. You come into your own garage and there's you turn on the light. There's just a, a guy. I would freak the fuck out. I would, I would be <laughs> so terrified. I would be so terrified. I would, man, I would be so pissed too. Yeah, that, I don't know. We'll, get, we'll fucking deal with that later, dude. Shit's, I'm telling you, man. It's hot out here on the streets, bro. It's crazy. You well, saying people, the, <sighs> I definitely want it because we heard yeah. him. We heard the squatter leaving because there's yeah, a well, door. He was being tra- chased out. Yeah. He was being chased out. And then your neighbor's like, you get the fuck. Obviously, they get Good. the fuck As, out of here. For sure. But the response of this guy was like, fine all right. All right, like man. indignant like yeah well, like he, he's like just i was just trying to steal your shit relax yeah, right dude i was just trying to like get some of your personal belongings and maybe sleep here for six to five <laughs> six to seven months to- jesus christ dude i don't it's hot out here dude people gotta blow off steam that's what i'm telling you these protests downtown all right fair it's enough going, fair it's enough getting wild. there was like it was the just, thing is it was crazy compared to what it was in june there will just be no comparison Compared to what it was in June, it's like, nah, yeah. dude, you can throw, you could do so much damage and it would still be like, yeah, but like, 
it's not the way it was in June. It's yeah. June was like June was literally every storefront you went to, unless it was my neighborhood because there's nothing to steal. Yeah, <laughs> like there was every storefront that looked like it might have like a bread maker was broke, fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, and boarded up too, dude. And it's so crazy. Back when I was living on Curson, dude, like that's fucking crazy. That thinking back on when that happened. Like literally the news footage they showed around the country of things on fire in LA was just on my block. Like you isn't that wild? That's the literally the stores on Melrose that they were burning was just on my block. And I'm yeah. just like I literally just sat on the balcony smoking cigarettes just watching it burn. And I'm just like, "All right." My neighbor comes out, she's like this older Russian lady. There we go. All right, see now we can now we can speak a little bit more freely on this. Is that Lorenzo? Here we go. This is the most fucked up episode, but probably the best episode so yeah. far. Okay, so that motorcycle is Lorenzo. He's leaving. Lorenzo's my neighbor. He was the one whose garage, this whole this fucking hobo, was just squatting it. Yeah. We're just sitting here talking about nonsense. We're talking about guys dressed up as Mario Kart doing donuts. Talk about Alex Caruso. What do you, can you Eating imagine? Meatloaf. No, hold on. That fucking hobo definitely heard our whole conversation. What do you? <laughs> what do you? Yeah, of course, dude. These are these walls are paper thin and the, they're completely open. I wonder. We we didn't make him laugh because we no, he, he did not laugh at all, dude. No, he's more of a King of the Sting fan. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're uh yeah. He's like, he must, talk about fighting and watch yeah. retarded people. <laughs> that guy was just sitting here listening to our podcast. We forced the most meaningful listen of this podcast ever. So can you imagine just being a drifter? He's like, I'm going to go break into this garage and do heroin. And you're like, oh, fuck. I got to listen to these two white dudes podcast now. I'm trying to shoot up heroin in the garage, dude. Hey, he stayed. He didn't leave. He, he got didn't. caught. He, what if he just would have left? He's like, I'm out. Yeah, he's fucked this. <laughs> Y'all suck. I'm going to go do Born heroin. That's why, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do know. heroin in this that, bush instead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go into a thicket and do heroin <laughs> to go avoid to listening to these guys talk. <laughs> go down to the crick and shoot. <laughs> fucking smoke rocks. We'll listen to these guys talk about the NBA finals. Jesus Christ. Well, he did stick around. So He did stick around. God knows how long he was in there. But anyway, we got to plow forward. What LA, were we talking about? Uh, well, no, it's you're a right. wild place right now. It these, is, we're yeah, talking about the, the, the protest that happened earlier. In in June, and you're right. It's like not even compared. Oh that yeah, was we're the revisiting. Me- we are because that topics. was well, <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> no, we need to talk. This is a segment. Is gonna be L.A.'s on fire or like L.A.'s crazy? Some just like clickbaity bullshit. But we're, we're gonna talk about, about how, yeah the the homeless community is because all right. So I finally jogged. Um, I have like a jogging route and I hadn't jogged my route in so long because I just always wanted to stay by my place because coronavirus. But I was like, I'm going to do the jog route again. And under the 10, there's always like a homeless. And yeah. It's, yeah. And now it's like, now there's just like dudes that res- they like guys that look there's, like us down there. Now. Yeah. There's ecosystems down there. Dude. dude, there's guys with grills. There's guys with grills and refrigerators. Same with like go over to like Echo Park, Silver Lake yeah, area. Yeah, Echo Park's crazy. This is even before the pandemic. Dude, Echo Park especially. And here's here's the fucked up thing. It is a lot of dudes who look like us. It's a lot of people who've just become homeless in like the last month. I had one, dude, we had one lady, we, she was like sleeping on our porch, dude. Yeah. And I go out there, I'm like, oh, fuck, man. And I was cool about it. I was like, listen, you got to go. Like, right. first of all, it's so busy on the street. There's so many construction workers. Like, someone was going to call the cops. I was like, yeah. listen, lady, I was like, you got to go. Someone's coming. How'd she seem? She didn't even register that I was speaking. Was she, she a zombie? She was zombed out, dude. Zomba? She was zombed out. Dude. Which, yeah, she was in like new clothes and i was like god damn, oh, it, damn. Dude. that's sad man it's fucked up well think about this dude think about this people would rather live in a tent under the 405 than move back to kansas isn't that crazy isn't that well la <sighs> is such a desirable place to live that people you can get a one bedroom in the small town in kansas for 500 dollars a month some guys like grilling a dead rat on under the 405 and he's like well <laughs> getting lows in 60s this weekend <laughs> so, yeah. i'm i still got improv credit at ucb yeah. i gotta use yeah. i have four classes left in <laughs> ground links that i gotta 201 finish i gotta wrap up yeah. well you know kill tony's tonight so you know something could happen there you go i'll be back here 
grilling a rat on a skewer. Dude, like that's <laughs> the thing, man. Like Dennis people the out Menace. here. I'm not even, this is like, this sounds insensitive, but there are people that are like, I can't leave because it the it's the attraction of like stardom that I think oh, keeps yeah, people out dude, here. It fries your brain. It that's, does. That's the whole thing is they're just been out in the heat too long. It's they it just the kind like I don't know. I've only li- I haven't lived here not close to two years, but dude, there's something about some people just are not mentally equipped to handle that much rejection and like just dead ends. Like can you imagine just hitting dead end after dead end. 15 years like yeah, we're only on like year three year three <laughs> and i'm almost off the rope you know what i mean so like i don't but what i'm saying is like some people just can't i feel like to think that i'm the person if i ever got to that point i'd be like fuck this i can drywall in some nice place in washington yeah it's fine what's your backup plan dude i've taught first of all the backup plan is selling fish in Malibu, no. I'm the fisherman. <laughs> I'm the fisher bad king. Backup plan. I'm the fisher king. That's number. That's backup plan two. <laughs> wearing a, it's you wearing like coveralls, going fishing, yeah. changing into a suit, yeah. and carrying some nasty yeah. sea bass into a Gross. five star restaurant Lake trout. as they beg you to leave like, and stop disturbing the customers. Yeah. Well, listen. They they don't know what. They don't know what the customer wants. I do. And people want an experience. And there's nothing more fucking fresh than getting your right, fish you delivered by some fat hipster on the beach when you're trying to enjoy some sangria. But anyway, what I'm saying, yeah, I don't, I, it's, it's What's tr- your the cracks What's in your- LA now. It's like, so I don't, it seems like such a visceral turning point right now for Los Angeles. Like half the celebrities are leaving. So many, you know how many like, People in the the comedy scene, people in like the actor scene, who are just like Joe Rogan left. No, there's a Joe Rogan isn't half of celebrities. Listen, or maybe he is. There's a huge amount of celebrities who are leaving. Who? There's a huge amount of celebrities leaving. Uh, Josh Brolin is. I (laughs) what a stupid reference. I saw that. I got fed that article. I got fed that in Google News today, dude. My Google News Google News is so stupid. (laughs) It's like just algorithm fed news. It's not really like fact checked by anyone. So it'll just be like New York Times, like inside the corona yeah. pandemic and then it'll just be like zendaya had braids and we're all like what yeah <laughs> like page six because it just account. scans like any weird news article and it's like juice world tribute yeah in my asshole i'm like that's it's got old man I, people I, are I, talking about i gotta this. read it people gotta go see this i gotta get this summer lemon chicken recipe anyway Wait, you're back. The point plan. being is like, dude, some of these people are like leaving LA and they're like, I'm moving back home. I'm like, that's kind of a privilege. I'm like, I can't. Oh yeah. You've talked. About I can't this. dude. I'm like, I, you know, you can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You can't. Like, I got a job here is what I'm saying. I can't just up and bounce. Cause like the city's going under. It just seems like everybody in my, at least in my personal feed of just like comedians that I would meet like through scenes and stuff sure. like that. They're all gone. They're all of them. No, how much? I swear to God, I le- le- okay, let's, how If you many? want me to give you a legitimate number, it, 70, 75 percent. Like it's Have to left. the point now where I, the comics who I can see are like doing some. There's like two mics you can do. One's on the sidewalk, one's on the beach, and it's like hard as fuck to get on either. So it's at this point like the comics I do see, I'm like it's like three people I recognize, and then just really, yeah, it really. So they're Audi, dude. People are gone. I'm. I'm they'll be to back the students, dude. yeah because the lakers be- are world champions now everyone's gonna move back what? <laughs> i'm waiting dude. they're opening the staples center next year what do you mean that no matter how this pandemic goes no matter if there's a vaccine or not next nba season they're having fans dude. is that what they said no but you know it's gonna be like that they're- well i know the owners to get into sports and i know no one likes sports yeah of all 44 people that watch this show Nobody likes sports, but I've heard that the NBA will not come back unless the owners can, unless the stadiums can be have people. No, they won't do it. Yeah, they won't do this again. They had enough. to finish the season to fulfill this like storybook ending that the NBA drafted of like the Lakers winning it all, right? For Kobe, I'm starting to think that Adam Silver had a role in Kobe's death because this all played out too perfectly. Anyway. I'm just, it's a joke. Not touching it. The hobo 
three doors down to left at that, dude. He, <laughs> Maybe. He's, he's gone out, now. He's out there dozing <laughs> what off. What if he just came back? <laughs> he came back, I'd want to we'd interview him and I'd be like, dude, this is gonna this is like a, a we could like win a peabody. Probably. I yeah. just turn the I flip the whole podcast, we'll become like white knight, like history buffs of just like That's fine. I don't know, right? <laughs> right. That's fine. Whatever works. Whatever we'll be dude, we'll be a professional bowling podcast. Like guys who cover the pl- this is the wedge, dude. Every sports podcast has been taken. You want to do a sports podcast, professional bowling, or like a darts podcast, maybe? Yeah, there's got to be someone filling the niche, though. You know what I mean? I know. It's probably some Twitch streamer. Hello, YouTube. We're here to talk darts weekly. Yeah, we can, man. It's probably the va- <laughs> the, it's video. such a narrow ni- You know what I mean? Like Everything's occupied. You know what I mean? So you might as well take the biggest thing and try to squeeze in because if you're like, oh, I'm going to find some niche, like some niche demographic or interest that people have like professional dart throwing, there's going to be like 45 motherfuckers trying to get in and 45 people trying to watch. There's yeah. like one <laughs> view like each. A complete self-eating ecosystem. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, that's what four, everything is now. There's 45 hands and 45 people feeding. So it's just... Dude, it's everyone's reacting to everyone else's video. It's like this person a, reacts to this person's reaction of this person's reaction of this the, video. The, this whole like what what is what do we want out of entertainment anymore? You know, I see these billboards for this stupid like I forget what the name of the show is, but some new Showtime show about like the Fox News debacle like with Ro- Roger Ailes. It's called like the loudest voice or something oh, like that. Yeah, I don't even know. It's just fat Russell Crowe. Just just so oh, fat. Oh yeah, now. I've heard of this. And he's just like at, and he's like Russell Crowe is stunning as Roger Ailes. I'm like, dude, who asked for it? Like, why do we need to keep creating fictionalized versions of real things that happened like four weeks ago? That's yeah, that's like, not what is the demand? Like, it time. It's the, the, we even brought it up one time. It was like the Tiger King thing. It was like, oh, the Tiger King, Kate McKinnon's going to play Carol Baskins. I'm like, dude, we just like the whole hype on this guy is because the show was so good and then there's such demand that some like cbs is going to make some bullshit version of it now with like nicholas cage as joe exotic like and you know what clearly people are watching it dude strike while the iron's hot dude that's i, I, I don't respect get it, it. they're I just basically don't get it. they could have said like all these motherfucking idiots want more tiger king it's a stupid idea to make a biopic right now, like yeah. a six months after it happens. I mean, yeah. But there is so much goddamn money yeah. in putting out anything with the word Tiger King and some dumb guy with a mullet, some yeah. homosexual with a mullet. Not that men being homosexual is anything about it, but people it had a lot love, to do with it. It did. It did. People love harems. Two dudes. Yeah. Two. The fact that he willed these two men to be gay. That's the crux. That was no that one gives was a fuck it. about a tiger. The fact that he willed two this straight guy was dudes slinging dick like a Midwestern, you know, music straight dudes teacher. hate gay sex. <laughs> no, I just mean that like they do hate it. So the fact that they went along with it, he'd be like, listen, or this guy could have just been like a little gay. I don't know. I mean, the point though is that like, I it's just it's crazy to see that all of a sudden it's like, yeah, Tiger King show, Roger Ailes. And then there's this also, it's like the Comey rule. There's like a fictionalized version of like the, someone's playing Donald Trump on like Showtime right now. And it's like, it's the Comey rule. It's some guy playing Trump and some guy playing James Comey. It's really? like, dude, this just happened like two years ago. Our attention spans are shot. Two dude. years, dude. It was a one. One. It, it, that, that's time moves so fast right now. So it's just like, Everything. The James, remember how big a deal the James Comey thing was? Now, like, James Comey's at his house, and he has a podcast, and he's posting photos of him, and he's like, wear a mask. I guess he's a dork. Dude, that's my thing with um, with Fauci. Fauci's done. He's just writing his book now. Yeah, he's... Well, he's, what the fuck else? He, he's like, these people don't give a fuck. I was trying to protect people up. who didn't... He ca- gave yeah, he up. Gave, he, he didn't know what's going on. He went to a Washington game. He went to a Washington capital... Not capital. He threw the first pitch. He's like, yeah. I don't give a shit. And then he took his mask off. You I'm dip. like, this guy is just like... He's writing a book now. I'm like, dude, this everyone is... Everyone's actions and what they do is just them thinking about their own biopic and how they want it to be. I'm like, yeah. this is insane. People You're basically living their writing lives. your own movie. Yeah. They're just people are basically constantly writing their own pilot in their head. Like they're living yeah. their life as if it's going to be picked up by HBO. As exactly. 
Yeah, he or just get like a book deal. A that, book deal. He, no, this is the path. He's like, I'm a successful politician. I'm I'm Anthony Fauci. I was trying to save the soul of the United States and protect people. They didn't even want it in the first place, and they don't care. So I backed out. Now I write a book. The book's real popular. I say that like Trump jerked me off one time, and like they're all gay, and yeah. they're on some other bombshells that like Trump actually has chlamydia. Script gets bought by HBO. Limited series spawn off some weird two little podcasts about it that like crazy people who work at Chase Bank will listen to. And then life goes on, dude. It's all entertainment. That's why that's it where, is. That's where we exist, dude. It is. We make it. Most people make entertainment. We make content even less meaningful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dude, that's that's that a good point. Content means I had a camera and an SD card. That's what we have three is. cameras and I and, and we have multiple SD cards. SD cards. That's the difference between us and you. Shout out to my boys out there and we got lights. You can't shout see out them. to Jacob. Do Jacob hit me up on Instagram. He's telling me about his band Arlen Gun Club. I listen to him on Spotify. It's a good band. Let's just do give him yeah, a let's listen. Do, dude. Yeah, let's I'm do giving plugs. a shout. I'm giving shout outs all day, dude. Shout out to Smoke and Scan. That camera just went hit hit it, dude, because that means it's been half an hour. Shout out to Arlen Gun Club. I listened. To, I think it was like an EP today. I was listening to it. It's good. Who else you got? Who else you got? Shout who out? else do I got? Um, actually, a lot of the people who message me on Instagram rarely are putting their first names in their profile, and their profile picture is definitely like some weird cartoon or like anime figure or guy shooting an AR-15. So I like to keep it at the surface and just you keep know, it at the username. Okay. You don't. You don't ask first names. I don't know. See, that's there's probably one the guy, best. There's one guy who's real cool. I He's in a band, too. But for the life of me, I would never pronounce his name correctly. It's like Nair Juan or N-E-U-H-R-E-N. Boy, does this look bad in so many different angles? But either way, You're shout, getting out, no shout out to my dudes. Go listen to their bands. They were good. Um, You know what I've noticed with... Uh, so we have a lot of like we had a bunch of we did some sports clips and we got a bunch of young kids, young boys adding us young male youths. You know what I noticed a lot of what their Instagram bios are and I've noticed there's a lot God, of kids. faith country <laughs> and you're like, oh, fuck. It's <laughs> you're not far off. <laughs> it's not you're not far off, but it's like it's th their name where they went to school. What year they graduate. Yeah. And then sports they play lacrosse class of 19. <laughs> What's the last thing? Last thing. Oh, dude, I don't it's know. such a weird one. So it's like name God, faith, country, uh, LaSalle high school class of 19, probably college where they're going to oh, go. Then it's like I heart Amber or something like that. Or it's like heart Amber. No, that's kind of lame. If you're a guy and you have your girlfriend in your bio, you're kind of gay. Lamer. What? Bible verse. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. You're so right. Have God you seen damn this? It, you're so right. Yeah, I've seen so much of it. I think what it is, it's like these. And when I was this age, too, like I didn't have much of a personality. Oh, dude, if people dug up what my AOL like aim away messages were, Jesus, I would kill. I would kill myself on the they, they were outline trader lyrics, weren't they? Dude, worse. What? They, they were like brand new lyrics. Oh, no. Ah, what, OK. Worse than that. Sometimes it'd be like a fallout boy lyric. Oh, my God, dude. Now you're speaking my language, yeah, dude. dude. That's where you'll find me is under the goddamn cork tree. Yeah. Dude. Buried, bitch. I would never live that down. Yeah. I So in the, on the one sense, I'm like, listen, they're just young kids. What are they going to do? This is what you do. You, you, you're 16 with an Instagram page. You post everything that's like overly emotional and kind of lame. Oh, man. I had I poured my heart out on some Zanga posts. Oh, my God, dude. Me too. It's funny because you'd always be like talking about some girl and the girl always knew you were talking about her. And that just makes it so much gayer. Yeah, I always want to I Sometimes, you know, there's this one girl at my high school. She was the this this woman was like fucking siren, dude, because <laughs> she like every all my buddies just like fell in love with this girl. Yeah, she was just some hot girl at school. That's what happened. But she wasn't even like she wasn't even like the hot girl. But she, she was, was cool. She was like cool. And she'd laugh at all your dumb jokes. And she was super cute. She at least show you some attention. Oh, yeah. Not like the super hot chicks that don't even she's so like they're flirting on the, the male teacher. Right. And you're they, like, they're, OK, they're well, I'll talk to this normal chick. Right. She's not going to be fucked up in 20 years. And she's hot. And she, she's she, going to be a lawyer. 
I'm going to strike now. Close? But she was more like, she was more like, oh, this girl doesn't, you think, oh, she doesn't even know she's cute. So yeah. I got a chance. So I got a chance. She knew. She In knew. In my Slipknot t-shirt, uh-huh. I'm going to be the guy. The mine was, I had, a, I had some brand new t-shirts. I had a couple Finch t-shirts. Oh, I dude. was swagging Fuck, out, dude. dude. You could have got so much I had so some All American Rejects Paxson. t-shirts. Dude, if you walked into a PacSun, you could just bang everybody. The thing is, I walked into Hot Topic and the people were like, too. all those shirts are for sale. We already, like, you, we saw you here yesterday. You know what I mean? I was just a hot topic little slut. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. coming in buying plugs, well, buying fake plugs and all American rejects t-shirts. That's what you see. Here's the thing is you go to hot top. You don't actually meet people at the hot topic. You try to avoid contact with anyone at the hot topic because you feel like it's your place and you're also kind of ashamed of it because your dad thinks it's kind of gay. Yeah. So you go to hot topic and you're like buying it in secrecy and then you show up at like a party where everyone's kind of hanging out. And uh-huh. you're like, no, but I'm the one. I'm the one in the rise against shirt. I'm the individual. I'm unique. Yes. I know that all these other boys out here have like gray jogging shorts and huge dicks flopping around, them, <laughs> but I'm wearing super gay tight jeans and a way too tight doors t-shirt. <laughs> the door. I had a doors t-shirt. That's how much I repelled pussy is it's like I couldn't even get a current band on my shirt. The, like I was yeah. like I was out going to bang some fucking 60 year old chick named Donna who works at a hair salon. Like, no, dude, that would have been it. An interesting move if you when you were younger there was no thought that you could throw on a doors teacher and maybe clean up some I, old I, chicks. I, I guess some, in my some head, of your buddies' I moms. I guess in my head it was more so it's like, oh, I'm at least gonna be in I'm gonna stick out, right? I'm not gonna be like everyone dude in like a oh, yeah, for shirt sure. and just for some sure. gray shorts. No matter how big their dicks were. But it that's the thing is you think like I'm cool, I'm the individual. No, you're just yeah. a different type of loser. And your dick's not big enough and to just throw on some gray shorts and not care what you wear. Because God knows you would be. And yep. you'd also be playing basketball because you're a champ, dude. Those the kids are they're defined from birth. So if the close the sooner you can realize your path, the sooner you can start acting on it and then become the best version of whatever it is was you were intended to. <laughs> you realize as early as possible that your dick is not big enough for you not to develop a personality. Bingo. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Girls, or realize girls too. It. Yeah. Girls too. Realize that you're... That is the key to success. So listen, Noah, God, Faith, Country, Lacrosse, Boys, I Heart, <laughs> Hannah, God is Willing to Forgive, Joseph, 316, I don't know. Joseph. I just read his... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, Joseph. Some, had, no, Jesus' dad should have had his own section of the Bible, the Gospel. Yeah, according there's to no Joseph. book of Joseph. No, he was just a piece of shit by all regards. They were just like, this guy doesn't even. He's a scumbag. He like wouldn't. He didn't. And you don't even blame him because his wife's like, I'm pregnant. But I, he's like, what? <laughs> they didn't even know each other. No. That's the funny thing. I wonder if Joseph, like at the end of it, he kind of raises Jesus. Jesus goes, gets crucified, and everything. His job is con- kind of done. Joseph just like. Man, that was kind of weird, right? <laughs> that was weird. What happened? He just looks at Mary like, so I guess we don't really got to, I never really liked you. Yeah, there was just like a 33-year gap in their relationships, and so now they're like, right. I mean, we could go out, but I mean, you're fucking crazy. Yeah. You're fucking screaming and crying over here saying you're having these babies, and we never had sex, like, and then I'll, and then I got to raise it. What do you do? You move on I'm if you're chosen? I'm going to work with wood, because that's what I do. I'm just a... I like how in the the literally the greatest story ever told that Joseph was just a shitty dad. Like, you like think that so? was as good as they could make the character. He was Dude. just kind of a shitty guy. What? I know he raised. Listen, he was just kind of like he rise to the occasion. He didn't even knock the bitch up. Dude, he didn't. Ha- there was no raising Jesus. Okay, like he, the motherfucker was gonna do. What he was gonna do. I know there are stories that like there aren't there some stories where like Jesus was being like a little little bitch when he was a teenager and Joseph had to tell him like. Listen, he I went, know you think you're the son of God, but in my house, <laughs> I'll tell you what, what he did. He went, Jesus got lost. Okay. They were like looking for Jesus all over the place. And then he turned out to be in the temple and he was like teaching the Pharisees how to live. And he came oh, in yeah. he, and then and they beat his ass anyway. They, I don't think they beat his ass, <laughs> but he comes, you would beat the, the son of God's ass. I would. If well, I was Joseph, AKA just Joe, just a shitty dad. And, mm-hmm. Israel and God knows what year. Not even a year. No one even because it was just all going to be decided after he died. Right. But so literally the year doesn't even fucking matter that you exist in Joseph. No. And he's just sitting there like, yeah, I guess yeah, my son died at 33. 
Well, well, also now I manage an auto zone. The equivalent. <laughs> it's like chariot zone. <laughs> well, the uh, if I if I'll finish the uh, chariot zone. Uh, Jesus God, I just shot up my fucking nose, dude. Uh, fucking well, the chariot zone. Chat. The uh, hey, yeah, yeah, so my son, you know, there like was a equivalent, he's just drunk all son the time. Of God. <laughs> all the time, this guy's working at Cherry's out, yeah, my son, you know, he's the son of God, you know. And the other guy's like, just let him. My wife never fucked her, never, not once, not once, never, <laughs> everyone says it's somebody else's baby, but the no, other, no, no, he's not even a manager, he's just like an associate, but he's older than everyone else who he's works part there. time. <laughs> time they don't even give him health insurance and the manager's like just he just likes to tell stories we can't fire him because he's a liability anyway um i don't know what we were talking about how was your week dude i went to santa barbara for my birthday on saturday and um you know what i was you like got a get, restaurant to go bad on no well no i will go bad. here's i will go bad i look at this camera and my hair at this point since i shaved it is just growing up so i just look like the heat miser all the time now which is great um, I went to Catalina two weeks ago for the first time. I took a little charter over there. It's like a hundred some bucks, whatever. Drive a little golf cart around, look at shit. And you're like, boom, I didn't kill myself. Yeah. So I'm at Catalina and I go to this restaurant on the beach. It's called Steve's Steakhouse. And I'm like, dude, I haven't gone to a restaurant since it started. I don't know about you. You're probably out going on dates, going to restaurants. Mm -hmm. so I, I have it. I have it. Myself. And I'm like, there you go. So you're going to like subway all the time after the day to suck and fuck myself. Yeah, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> there you go. No, for sure. At the subway. Um, I go to this place, Steve's Steakhouse on the beach because it's on the beach. I'm like, dude, I haven't gone out on a day. We were like, we're going to have a dinner someplace. Yeah, it's nice. So I'm like sitting on the beach. It's kind of nice. There's bees everywhere, which kind of ruined it. There's bees everywhere. There's bees flying around. It's terror terrorizing the community. I go to this place, Steve's Steakhouse, if you hadn't heard me say it. Steve's Steakhouse on Catalina in the city of Avalon. Motherfucker, I ordered a $38 steak, and I get there, and it's straight. It's like a, it's literally a Waffle House steak. Torched. He was like, what do you, you ever go to a steakhouse, and you know they're not going to do it right, and you're like, all right, we're going to see how this plays out. Like, how do you want your steak, dude? I'm like, medium, just medium rare, like normal. I don't know what's what everyone gets comes out it's just torched and also the steak is a third of an inch thick so you're like what cut was it just a rib on so i well, i sent it ounces? back fucking 12 dude a 38 dollar steak you send that shit back huh so i sent that shit back i'm like no this is so overcooked it comes back again it's raw it's just like i couldn't even cut it dude i couldn't even cut it and i was just like you know what i absolutely must end this meal and go smoke a weed vape in the alley behind this place because I'm not eating this dog shit food. You're not going to get it right on the third one. That's what I did, dude. I ate some coconut shrimp as an appetizer. They took my steak off and I was like, great. That was my one dine out experience. I'm like, did you finish the back. steak? Fuck the, no, The dude. rare steak? No, I didn't even eat it. I was like, no, I'll eat this coconut shrimp. Mo got some like pasta that was questionable. It's one of those pastas. Do you ever get like a pasta and like the sauce is like everything makes sense on paper and then you get it and it's all like it's like a shrimp pasta type thing. You're like, oh, it's going to be like a shrimp with like a cream sauce, like a white sauce shrimp. And it was just like vodka sauce with like shrimp that was like gray. And then, God damn it, Steve. And Catalina too. Anyway. Wait, wait say, say the name. Go bad on Steve's Steakhouse. Steve's Steakhouse. Go on. You got pics of go this. On you. Hey, there's that new Yelp feature where you can say a business is racist. Go see. Can you really? <laughs> you haven't seen this? No. No, dude, there's this new thing on Yelp where Yelp's like, we're partnering to like create a safer environment for diners. So they have this thing now where you can like just submit and say this restaurant has a history of race, like does Ooh. racist shit. And then they'll put a warning up. Like if you go, if you're searching like, I want the best tacos and echo park and then it comes up and be like just so you know this company has a history of racist behavior it's like a disclaimer does it tell you which race oh that would be so good race is involved colon eskimos what, what? the fuck? i guess i'm all right i guess i'm good i'm gonna just it's five got stars the, got the most ratings out of any of them that'd be so that'd funny be it's even, like a five star so, that would be pure satire if they were like we're, they're racist behavior here are the races involved and then just like immediately bring it down it's like blacks latinos eskimos 
Azerbaijanis. Azerbaijanis, dude. <laughs> the Jenners. Like, whatever you want to say. I, Dude. Anyway. That's Steve's so- Steakhouse. Just go say they're racist. Go say... I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to leave a Yelp review. I'm like, yeah, I went in there and he... That's mis- the funny he thing. He misgendered me and <laughs> called me the N-word. And he was white. <laughs> I didn't... I couldn't believe it. That's the funny thing now because nobody... Four stars. Four stars. The shrimp... The coconut shrimp. The coconut shrimp and the disgusting Chef Boyardee shop. <laughs> Listen, as I can eat this pasta while bees are swarming around my head and uh, <laughs> Armenian family's fighting next to me, you know, great. This is not Armenian. Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Italians. You know it. You know it's always going to be the Italians. Anyway. Well, okay. How good can coconut shrimp be for you to forgive racism? Like Wolfgang Puck or something, I don't know. Yeah, high level. It's Just like be pretty good coconut level, shrimp. Level, you know. Listen, dude, best coconut shrimp I ever had in my life is at a Quaker Steak and Lube. Which do they have a, it? They do. And talk about a restaurant that would probably have some warnings of racist behavior ahead of it. You think so? Best coconut shrimp I've ever had in my goddamn life, dude. With the Bam Bam sauce. Get the fuck out of here. Say whatever you want. I'm oh, getting I'm so sh- angry. I'm gonna feel bad about it, but I'm gonna go there anyway. Just, I did that, dude. I went to story for me i went to this is embarrassing but i went to a barber that was a fucking racist dude yeah you told me and this. i went like a few i had a joke about it back when i was funny like i i went to him because he was low-key he was low-key he gave yeah. a good haircut for 15 bucks that's what you gotta find but he was low-key so i think i told myself i'm like yeah maybe i'm misunderstanding him yeah well you get that cheap ca- you when you find a cheap haircut it's a big mile back. especially in in la i can get a 15 dollar haircut see i can town. i'm locked in a cycle where i just have white chicks who are cutting my hair listening to like suf john stevens or something and i pay no. 50 dollars i'm like god damn. And, and they'll talk to you that's why i always go i don't want to talk i go to a barber shops that where they don't say i want there to be a language English, barrier dude. that's what i'm saying man these people they're like well they can like they understand me but for the most part they're just like they don't, they're not interested in me. They know I don't, okay. they're not going to feign interest. And like, yeah. so where you do you work? Like, yeah, you came here for a service. They're always very nice. Like, you don't got to ask me where I work for you to be a nice person. No, you don't. You can just say, hey, show me a picture of David Beckham and let's get you the fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah, let's do this. We'll have one kind of meaningless conversation about Tiger King that will be pretty awkward. And I bring it up because it's easy. They don't even be on my way. Oh, do you want to hear the things he said? Yeah, dude. Okay. So I went to this. This man's racist behavior. I'm, I almost kind of want to put him on blast, but that ain't me. That ain't my style, man. Maybe he changes ways. Fucking with someone's like well being is (laughs) a whole fucking with like, that's the whole thing about posting a disclaimer that they're racist. First of all, like how are you going to confirm that? And also you're going to, you just straight up shut a business down. Have it at Terry, Terry's turf club. Dude was grabbing ass on the job. I mean, rightfully so. He wasn't grabbing. He was gay. Dude, he wasn't gay. Anyway. He, there was a video of him. This is a conversation that no one cares about. This is about. a Cincinnati Ohio Move on. Talk okay, about your so, racist barber. So there was one day I went in, and uh, I was like, I'm just like telling my joke now. But I asked him, like, hey, can you put some grooves in the side here? And he was like, nah, I don't really do that. <laughs> I was like kind of taken back by it. I was like. So what he's like no i don't really do that thing I'm like okay yeah just not the kind of people i'm trying to have in this shop i didn't you know what i mean buddy <laughs> like i didn't even think about it. i wasn't i wasn't even there wasn't any thought in my head i was just like i guess he just doesn't do that maybe it's like a unique thing then i thought about it more and i'm like i can do it myself you know and then i went so i went in the next time and i was like Hey, can you uh, can you shave my part? Like, can you shave this I part it here? Can you shave my part? And he was like, "No, I don't really. I don't do that kind of thing. I don't do that. I don't do that stuff." Yeah. And then okay. it, here's what he says. He says to me, "He's like, if I cut your hair like that, I'm gonna get guys from Clifton coming down here wanting haircuts." Yeah. And I was like, "It's a very Cincinnati way of being racist. It's by like you proving your racism by dropping a local landmark." That I don't was, want those boys from East Press Hill coming down here. See, I didn't. When I heard Clifton, I was like, college kids. Yeah. Well, you're not from. I'm. I live there long enough to know that people basically outside of the city in any realm just think it's just 
It's just it's just like uh, it's like John Banner territory and then inner city chaos. Yeah. To them. Wasn't John Banner chill though? Doesn't matter. John Banner was very oh, not chill. He's speaker of the house, right? Doesn't matter. Was I'm gonna tell you? I gotta, I gotta get to the. He was third. drunk one time at a, an event we covered. We showed up. He was fucking hammered, just being a dick. Really? Like, was an yeah, he's a fucking asshole. He did like a sketch comedy video with Obama. Yeah, he did. They did that fun little movie while they were drone striking children in yeah. Yemen, and they're like, "Look, we get along, guys. Don't look. Right. Do not look." And what's going on over there? For the love of God. Hey, and man. they're like eating popcorn. We're like Look. watching drone strikes. We both we're watching men in black. <laughs> <laughs> Only because we're done drone striking. This Weed's m- illegal until yeah. I can buy it in Ohio and I own the land. Um, Smoke up, dog. I want to get high with John Banner. See if he can admit to being a child molester. You think so? He's gotta be, dude. Gotta be. You don't get that. Speaker I of the love house. How now we just speaker. throw around anyone. We'll be like, fuck it. I'll call him a child molester. Yeah, I guess they probably are. Like now we just flippantly Epstein say it. The door, dude, once Epstein's, it's all open now. Now it's any. If it's, it's literally has nothing to do with them or their personality. It's just the level that they've gotten to. You're like, you've bumped elbows with some anyone pedophiles. with power and influence. You're like, chomo. There's yep, chomo, mm. full on. Yeah. Um, I can I tell one quick story before sure, we wrap, yeah, dude. Yeah. I went to Santa Barbara on my birthday, and I was like, I'm gonna get out of town. I'm like stopping at like the little, I stop at like a Seven Eleven before I go, and there's just like a, there's this one homeless guy that goes up and down Santa Monica all day, and he's truly, listen, I'm cool with all of them. This guy's a menace to the community. He's literally terrorizing the. Is community. this the Laker fan? No, this is not Laker guy. Laker guy is. Lake, I don't think Laker guy's homeless. I think Laker guy has an RV somewhere where he's doing like really creepy shit. You know what I mean? Out in the desert. He's severing. This guy, there's this one hobo who goes up and down the street and he, dude, he'll like, he'll scream at people. Dude, one time I was sitting at a Starbucks like on my laptop, like drinking a coffee and he was, he just comes up. He's just like, racist motherfucker. And, like screaming in my face. I'm just like, cool, dude. How'd he know? How did he know? <laughs> Such info war sticker on the front of it. It's like he's calling me out. Wouldn't it be awesome if the hobo was just like accurately calling someone out? It's like this guy's crazy. He's like, no. it's just not a home. It's just the guy that noticed that you're racist. Yeah, just a guy who saw my racism. No, <laughs> no, this guy's an awful menace to the community. He screams at everyone who goes by. Do one time he walked by this La Boheme, this restaurant in Santa Monica. This couple, he was screaming at a couple who were dining outside. Then he just takes his dick out and starts pissing. And no, of him. you yeah. saw this? Yeah, dude, you saw his dick. Mm-hmm. This guy's man. a menace, dude. I'm telling you. All right. You saw a man terror. piss on some people? Dude, I haven't even... You're going to be... Your mind is going to be blown by the story <laughs> I'm about okay, to tell you. I'm right. I'm right. Anyway, mind. this is all I've we gone so far this. off the path. The reason I bring this up is because I'm going to Santa Barbara. I'm like, I'm going to stop at 7-Eleven. I'm getting Gatorade Zeros. I'm getting some snacks. So I'm like stopping there. Crazy hobo guy who everyone hates is out there screaming at everyone again. I'm like, cool. He's screaming at me. He's calling me racist again because that's the move. You just find some kid like me you're like racist mm-hmm. so i'm like all right cool he's screaming at me no big deal get in the car and i'm like driving i'm like dude I'm, I'm gonna go to santa barbara it's gonna be nice to have a reprieve from this fucking guy who's terrorizing my day-to-day life i come to, i come across this guy three times a week easily and i'm like i'm gonna go to santa barbara and it's gonna be nice i'm not gonna have to deal with this guy like he's a bully in school sure. I'm like i'm gonna go out of town i'm not gonna think about him so I go up to Santa Barbara, dude, straight up biking on the beach. Stop. I'm enjoying the sunset. Lady walks in front of me, starts shitting on the beach, just in front of me as the sun is setting. The palm trees are flowing. It's like 60 degrees, kind of cloudy, like Monterey weather, you know? Yeah. And it's just a beautiful, just California dreamscape. There's just like cool ass, like little fucking kids skateboarding, some little skate ramp next to me. Lady comes up. She just starts shitting. You saw shit come out of her ass? Yeah, one? dude. How, you can't not look when someone just starts shitting in front of you in front of the sunset. You're like, it's exciting, it, but it felt weird because she was a girl. But I'm also like, dude, you lose those privileges when you start shitting on the beach. Like, oh, if some you, drunk you, chicks okay. like pissing in between two cars. I'm not looking, dude. I feel I'm a Christian. I don't feel right. Yeah, but you're shitting in front of me on the beach. I'm gonna look, dude. This at that point, that's the only thing I have to gain from this scenario. Yeah, just seeing this crazy shit unfold with my eyes, but it's just like, wow, what a any sort of female privileges you get societally once you're once there's like a turd coming out of your asshole. It's all all bets are off. Yep. Yeah, dude. What a time to be alive in 
California. Happy birthday. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fuck. I got bigger things to worry about. I got to worry about this guy who's a heroin addict two doors down who was listening to our podcast. See if we get one new viewer. I'm like, that is scary. I'm going like, to go up on YouTube analytics and just be like, new subscriber. <laughs> he sees you at the coffee shop while like uploading it. He's like, see, I like it live. I don't like it's just yeah, kind of boring like once you. it's on the YouTube, you know, and then we're, he's just he's our friend. We'll just like let him sit over here yeah. while we record the episode. See you all Monday. I'll let him do heroin and I'll be like, I don't. I won't. I'm not Keep comfortable with that. Him, no, I'll be, you go do it in the bush. You come over. I guess once stuff. he's in the garage, then it becomes the thing where I'm responsible. And the last thing I need is some fucking guy overdosing in my garage. I'm trying to record a boring podcast. Yeah. <sighs> Crazy times. Subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Send me a message with your critical yeah. life advice. I'll listen because I'm a clinical physician and I'm mm-hmm. equipped to do those things and I will almost positively steer your life in the right direction. Anything else do you need to say? Better help. Call better help. 